Uh, I would like to begin by welcoming you all once again to this webinar, uh, which is to provide you information and explain about the different programs in education studies that are offered at uh, the Tata Institute of Social Sciences or TISS for short. Uh, we'll take you through the different aspects of uh, the programs. But before that, let me just begin by introducing you to the Institute. I'm sure you are all aware of this uh, Institute that has will soon be marking uh, about 90 years of its existence. And uh, our reputation over the years, eight decades and more, has been largely uh, because we provide uh, what we, uh, we the uh, reputation of excellence is largely because we are uh, known for providing quality education. We are committed to developing professionals for practice in different areas. We have been taking up research projects in a number of areas, including education, and I'll refer to that briefly a little later on. Uh, we have also uh, been involved in advocacy, helped governments uh, at the state level, national level, and uh, many a times, even at the international de level, develop policies. Uh, sorry, yeah, develop policies for uh, in education. So that has been one of our uh, we have the hallmark of our different programs and the kinds of uh, faculty that is associated with uh, TISs. Um, so uh, once again, what are we known for? And when I take you through this, I'm referring to the Institute at large and also to the specific centers and schools of education at uh, TISs. We are known for academic excellence, the rigor of our programs, uh, the ability to combine uh, research, uh, field immersion, experiential learning, as well as a theoretical understanding of uh, education and of different programs. So this academic excellence is, uh, is uh, demonstrated through uh, various kinds of publications, the kinds of uh, profile and uh, placements that our students are able to get to, the kinds of profiles they develop through the programs while they are at TISs and the different organizations and institutes that are happy to absorb them. So when we speak of academic excellence, this is what we are referring to. Many of our programs, and as was mentioned, uh, the education uh, programs that we offer are MA in education and uh, the B Ed M Ed programs. There is a new um, program, MA in education and technology. So these are some of the programs that we will be talking to you further about. Uh, and these, the highlights of these programs is that students are associated with the field action project. So we are known for our field action projects. Our students get an opportunity to be part of these field action projects. I mentioned this earlier that uh, there is the engagement with national and state policy. National and state governments have often approached us to help them develop policies. And to the extent possible, we also provide students an opportunity to be part of this process so that they also get an understanding of what is involved in developing policies that impact uh, various students, teachers, educational institutes. So this is what we are also known for. We have been collaborating both at the national and international levels for uh, research and teaching. Uh, there have been exchange programs uh, and the collaboration has resulted in, uh, we make efforts to involve students as well in the research projects that we take up. But one benefit for everyone is that much of our research feeds into the kinds of courses that we develop and uh, what we teach in the classrooms itself. So it is at the cutting edge uh, and uh, the state of art understanding in relation to various aspects, whether it's technology, education technology, or education research, or curriculum studies, or pedagogy, or assessment. So all these aspects uh, we do draw from our research and we are in that sense up to date with uh, the discussions, debates, and the understanding in relation to education. Uh, we have a vibrant campus life. There are various clubs, there are various activities. There's an active student council, 
uh, there are various fests organized. So um, it is, in fact, uh, the ideal student uh, location for uh, student life and student activities. So there is that part to our campus. An additional feature which um, TISS in particular is known for is the academic support and the financial support that it provides to the students. When I talk of academic support, we do realize that students are coming from uh, backgrounds and bachelor programs where they are not necessarily cued into what academic reading is, what academic writing is. And therefore, we have programs that support them to ease or ease them, uh, them into these kinds of expectations about uh, academic expectations. So there is support for that, which is provided to uh, every student who uh, requires it and uh, looks for it. We also provide financial support to the students. Uh, this is through both student aid as well as uh, campuses have laptop banks and uh, other kinds. So uh, we provide also uh, uh, tuition waivers through the student aids as well as support for their stay to the extent possible. So this is uh, an aspect that TISS is once again uh, well known for, and we are uh, happy to be providing this kind of support to students. We have uh, for education in particular, and I will move uh, more specifically into discussing the programs in education that we have at uh, the Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Uh, we have two schools of education and the Center of Excellence uh, in Teacher Education. Uh, this particular center, which was established in 2015, is located in the Mumbai campus. The School of Education, which was established earlier in 2012, is uh, located also in the Mumbai campus. The School of Educational Studies, which was established in 2011, is at the Hyderabad campus. So these are the three uh, key school centers. And uh, one advantage of having these, uh, more, these schools and centers is that we are able to offer more programs and faculty from these uh, programs uh, are, are involved across the programs, so whether it's in Mumbai or Hyderabad, but then there can be a more specific pro um, focus in relation to some of the programs, and we will take you through this as well. Um, the program of studies that we are uh, focusing on today is the teacher education program. Uh, this is offered from Mumbai. It is an innovative program that is recognized by NCT, that's important to note. Uh, the B.Ed. M.Ed. program, this is the integrated B.Ed. M.Ed. program is for three years. The M.Ed. program is for two years and uh, there is lateral entry. So students can come in only for the M.Ed. program or they can come in for the B.Ed. M.Ed. program, which is for three years. Uh, once again, uh, the highlights of the program um, will be explained to you uh, in the breakout rooms, but uh, I'm just flagging the key features of these programs. The MA education program, which is campus-based, is for two years and is offered uh, so that we can accommodate more number of students. It's offered both from the Hyderabad and the Mumbai campuses. We also offer the flexible MA education, MA elementary education program. This is for two years and is uh, in the blended mode. That is that part of it is in the face-to-face -face mode. And then there is the online uh, mode of interaction and offering of the courses. So the MA elementary education program is in the blended and uh, mode. And similarly, the MA, edu MA in Education and Technology program, this is an innovative program, again, which is aligned with the national education policy is for one year. And this too is offered in a flexible mode. Uh, more details of that will be available to you very soon. Uh, one aspect that I would want to draw your attention to is that all these three programs uh, you can apply for these programs through uh, the common university entrance test. And this is the first time that these applications for these programs are invited through the scores that you obtain in uh, CUET. And we will be providing um, 
after explaining to you the highlights of the program, the specific features, the unique features of each of these programs, we will go into a discussion of uh, CUET itself, and I'm sure that would be useful for you uh, yet again. Uh, I have uh, referred to this indirectly, but let me again uh, bring to you uh, aspects of why do you have to study with us? I mean, why are we uh, wanting to welcome you and what would you gain from studying with TISS? Uh, I would say that we think we are simply the best and that's why you should study with us. And let me qualify that by explaining why we are, uh, in a sense, the uh, pioneers in this field, why we are uh, by the manner in which we have developed these different programs. One uh, feature is that we do have international recognition for our work. And I've spoken about how we are invited even by international bodies to help with their uh, policies. The international recognition for our work, for instance, is uh, that uh, CET uh, has been the winner of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize. And this has been for its contribution to the theme, use of ICT to increase access to quality education. So there are uh, aspects of our work that has recognized, uh, that has received widespread recognition. And we are, uh, I think, justifiably proud of this. Uh, we are also the winner of the Open Educational Resources Collaboration Awards for Excellence. This is more recent in 2019. Uh, and this is from the Open Education Consortium. And the map of India that you see, uh, you uh, get a sense of the different states and locations in which uh, there are field action projects that have been, uh, that are taking place. Uh, this map you could read as both an example of our presence through our field action projects, through our involvement in the state governments, but it's also a, a map which indicates uh, the states from where we do get uh, the diversity of students uh, that TISS and the education programs in particular receive. So we're expecting and looking forward to uh, more of this kind of diversity. There is uh, faculty of the different schools and centers that I referred to earlier, uh, schools and centers in education uh, have expertise in a diverse uh, areas in education studies. It could be about uh, teacher education, teacher professional development, uh, education technology, curriculum studies, policy research. So there are these areas of expertise uh, with the faculty and that is yet another good reason for uh, you to be studying with us. Uh, the two awards, for instance, that I referred to already uh, showcase the fact that there is innovation in ICT use in education at TISS. Uh, and I would just want to add that uh, through the pandemic, it was the uh, centers, uh, Center of Education in uh, Center of Excellence in Teacher Education, which led the way for TISS to use ICT in education. So there are these uh, features to the schools and centers. Professional development of the students is one of the key objectives of the various programs that we offer from TISS. There are about uh, 50 MA programs that we offer from TISS and we are drawing your attention in particular to uh, four uh, education, four and five education programs at, uh, that TISS offers. For the placement purposes, we have close to 100% placement. Uh, the bulk of it happens when the students are uh, just complete the program, but eventually our students uh, who have not found campus placement, also we are supporting to uh, find jobs and uh, help them uh, further in their careers. And also many of our students have gone on to pursue higher education. They are pursuing, uh, they are, uh, they applied for doctoral work for PhD in uh, institutes of uh, international repute. So several of them are doing the PhD both in India and abroad. And this part I spoke of earlier about the student support and financial aid. Uh, this is uh, yet another good reason for uh, applicants to uh, 
come to TISS and seek admission here uh, and work with us because we do we are invested in providing that support for students, both the academic support and the financial aid. I spoke of our partners of collaboration. So you will find that uh, these are the logos of the different organizations that we have collaborated with. Uh, there is uh, a range of international organizations, national organizations, uh, governments. Uh, the MHRD is indicated there. Uh, so that's the central government. And then with several state governments too, we have uh, worked on different projects. For placements too, and uh, different kinds of uh, collaborations. So there is the field attachment collaborations for experiential learning for the field immersion. We have organizations that we work with on a regular basis. For school internship, and this uh, applies specifically to the B.Ed. M.Ed. programs, there are uh, certain schools that uh, we uh, have been uh, involved uh, or be engaged with on a regular basis. Uh, there are also placement partners, organizations that uh, uh, look to uh, play, look to absorb our students into their programs because they are working uh, in education and they would they do value the kind of expertise that our students develop. So these are our placement partners.